My project took more of a humanitarian approach to water research. I wanted to see whether I could create something that purifies water cheaply and sustainably in developing countries. So my solution was a plastic and it's really simple and it's really straightforward to make. But this plastic is made of plant fibres and milk proteins and when you mix it all together with some plasticising agent you get this white film sort of thing. This film you can mould into buckets, so how I envisioned it was this. You get this bucket that's made of this plastic and the plastic itself kills bacteria and removes toxic metals out from the water. But then this bucket is made of small compartments. The compartments of the bucket also filter out uh, insoluble dirt. So my family and I visit India every year. We visit my father's childhood village and everyone was carrying water in buckets and it seemed like the obvious thing to go for because buckets are universal. Everyone knows what you do with a bucket. The plastic is a bioplastic. It's made of initially living matter. It's renewable and sustainable and it's not made from petroleum derivatives. The plastic itself needs some sort of starch component to act as the polymer. And I chose cellulose because it's found in every single plant across the planet. Then I couple this with a protein you find in milk called sesin, and it's again very abundant. These proteins, when you break them down into fragments, they're meant to be antibacterial, um, which has formed one of the basis of antibacterial action within this plastic. And then I use titanium dioxide, and it's a, again a very common substance. It's found in sunscreens, paint, um, and it has a whole load of applications. But using the nanoparticle form, you enhance the antibacterial properties and you increase its ability to sequester lead from uh, contaminated water. And by mixing it with a plasticizing agent called glycerol and salt, which again are commonly available resources, you make this quite sturdy, flexible plastic which can be moulded quite easily. Because it's a, a really easy thing to make. Uh, you can make it in the school labs if you have the resources. You just mix it all together and heat it up. And that was sort of the point because in developing countries where infrastructure is limited, you want something that doesn't require exotic ingredients or exotic preparation techniques. And if you're able to do it in a school lab, then surely you must be able to replicate it with relative ease somewhere else.